What is the difference between someone who's absolutely broke trying to make their way through life and someone who's rich? Well, it all boils down to the habits they do on a daily basis. And in this training, we are going to cut out all the stops and show you exactly what habits you need to do if you want to make money with affiliate marketing or internet marketing or starting a business of any sort. This is extremely important information. Make sure you stay to the end of this video because I'm going to be giving you something that's going to help you put all this in place. Yep, a free tool from your buddy Marcus. So, pretty cool stuff. We're going to go through and we're going to show you the habits that I've used over the years to make millions of dollars. Now, disclaimer, will you make millions of dollars? Probably not. Can you make money with these? Probably. But the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed as we are going to find in our drama section. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, today we got a little bit of drama. A couple days ago on my channel, someone posted on the video that I put up about internet marketing courses and things like that. This guy says, well, Marcus, the funny thing is you have your own course, which is $197, which I bought about eight years ago. So here's a guy who bought my course eight years ago, my Simple Sites Big Profits course that teaches all about affiliate marketing. He said, it never made me a penny and when I asked for my money back, you said it was too late and that I hadn't really tried. Now, first of all, we don't have a refund policy because we want you to go in and get it. So we don't do refunds. We teach you here for free. And if you like this stuff, you'll like the course. Now, I want you to look at this point because it's very important because he's saying, hey, you know what? I bought your product. It didn't make me any money. Like I bought it and it didn't get rich. So what we want to do is we want to look at this and understand what's going on. And this is a very important point. And I get people like this all the time who come to me years after buying my course and they're bent out of shape that the course didn't get them rich. And it's much like if you go to a gym and you get a membership and then you're like, why didn't I lose weight? And they look at the log and they're like, well, you didn't go to the gym. You got to go to the gym to get to work. So you got to look at this and understand it. Now, I went on and did a challenge to him, which you could read about here. But I want you to understand exactly what's going on, because this illustrates the perfect mindset of the majority of people. And it's not really your fault. You were trained to think this way. Now, here's a guy who bought something eight years ago. Now, eight years ago was almost 3,000 days ago. That's a lot of days. Now, imagine if this one guy here eight years ago said, you know what? I'm not going to expect a course or a person to make me rich because here's the thing. Nobody out there is going to do the work for you. The closest you could get to guaranteed income is by buying a franchise. But we know that franchises are expensive. There's a lot of risk. There's a lot of stuff involved, and most of us don't have the money to start a franchise. So we got to look at this, and we got to look at it objectively and say, what could I have done? Now, this guy eight years ago could have said, you know what? I'm going to put this ball in my own court. I'm going to focus on what I need to do. And even if this guy set out and said, you know what? All my goal is, is to make one article, one piece of content, one video, one PDF, or something, just something once a week, right? Once a week, I'll write an article. Once a week, maybe I'll make a video. You pick one of those tasks. You don't even have to do all of them. Now, if this guy set out and said, I'm going to make a piece of content every week. So my job this week is to make a piece of content that matches what people are searching for. This is important. Pay close attention. And then when I give you the gift at the end of this training, you're going to love it and you're going to go use it. So if he was to say, I'm going to make a piece of content every week. And my goal is that content make me $1 a day. All right, that's my only goal is I want this article, video, whatever, to make an average of $1 a day. Now, if he was to do that over 2,920 days, which is eight years, once a week, all right, how many of you guys could work once a week? Type one, one week if you are like, yeah, shit, dude, I'd work once a week. What are you talking about? All right, now, at the end of those eight years, instead of still complaining about $200 he spent on something, the dude would have 800 reports, articles, or videos set up, right? Now, follow with me here. If this guy set that up and said, hey, all my goal is I'm, I'm going to spend one day this week, and I'm going to do it every week without fail, and I'm going to focus on making a dollar a day, this guy would be making a high six-figure income automatically. All right, follow with me here because this is very important. The idea is to take the pieces of content and the stuff that he creates and funnel it to stuff that makes him money. Now, one of the most important and interesting things I find with business, and again, 
This training is already starting to change your mind. You might not see it yet, but it's doing a little bit of work back in your brain and it's going to come up later and it's going to help you understand how this works. Because one of the things that I found that was very interesting is that most people in life are like my customer. And it's like, hey, I've been complaining for eight years over a hundred bucks or 200 bucks or whatever. All right. And they will spend more time, more energy and more effort to hold on to money they already have or keep it instead of losing it rather than going to find new money. Now, this is something maybe I was raised wrong. Maybe my shoes were too tight. But ever since I was a kid, I never really cared about keeping money, which I'm not good at. I suck at keeping money. I'm good at like making it and spending it, but I'm not that good at keeping it. And I was always backwards. I always looked at it and said, instead of spending today, like people will spend all day on the phone to get like a $30 credit or something like that. All right, I'd rather spend all day trying to do something that's going to make me a dollar a day every day because that's going to build to my income. So with that said, I want to get the drama out of the way and help you understand this because I thought that was a perfect point to segue into what we're going into that's going to help you get to the habits that's going to make you rich. So what kind of habits are you doing right now? Now, in today's lineup, we have five parts. Part number one, we're going to talk about why most people will not break through the income barrier. Why do most people not make money? We're going to answer this. Part number two, I'm going to talk to you about the truth about habits and what you could do every day. Again, keep that student in mind. If he had done just one thing every day and the average is out at a dollar a day for each piece, he'd be making money. And we got to look at this and we got to understand what's going on. If you go by that logic, again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Some of your stuff will do really good. Some of it might not do that good and some of it might fail. Oh my God, failure. That's another thing. People are afraid to fail. It's like, what are you failing at? You wrote an article and no one viewed it? It's not a failure. That's like, whatever, you learn. All right, so we got to look at that and we got to understand the truth about habits. Part three, we're going to talk about the future bank account versus now money. Part number four, I'm going to show you how to start a content strategy if you want to make money online. This is all about the habits. Part number five, I'm going to give you a free tool that you can use daily to start getting where you want to go. If you're excited about this training, smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get into it. <clears throat> Part number one, why most people will not break through. The reason most people will not break through is they're not willing to do the things that build the stuff that they want. You look at Amazon. Jeff Bezos started Amazon, and he started out selling a couple of books. Then he got a couple more books. And then he got some movies. Then he got some other stuff. And over time, he built something that's very, very huge. And now he's like one of the richest guys on the planet. How? Because he got started. He didn't wake up one day with a golden hat that said, you're going to be the richest guy. Take a nap. Have fun. He went out and did what he had to do. Most people will not break through because they're not willing to figure out what they need to do. And they're actually not willing to do it. Why? I think this has to do with the fact that we are so removed from the things in our daily life. Like for most of us, if I took you out, put you on a farm, you couldn't survive. You don't know how to get the eggs and the chickens and all the stuff. You don't know how to do it. We're removed. We go to the grocery store and it's all on a shelf. Done deal, right? So we're removed from it. Same thing with money. When you go to a job, you are one cog in a big machine and you don't see how everything works. You see this all the time. You got the guy who goes to work and he's like, ha, I practically run the place. And it's like, do you, do you really practically run the place? Do you handle their inventory? Do you handle their advertising? Do you do that? Well, no, but I talked to all the customers. Yeah. How did the customers get there? Because the business drove them there. So what's happening is we're far removed. And what I want to do in this training is I want to zoom in close and show you how this works so you understand it and you could build something of value that will provide for yourself and your family. Now, most people won't break through because they look at the high rise. They're like, there's the big building. There's the big business. They're rich. They don't look at the little steps they did to get where they need to go. Now, this is what I call majoring in the minors. People wake up and they say, Marcus, I want to I want to get traffic from the word make money online or weight loss or diet. And I'm like, dude, you're not going to do that. There's other sites that are already doing that. They're already doing it. They're competing. They're competing. They're huge. You're not going to compete with them. So what I do instead is I major in the minors. And if I can get something small, like I said, with that customer above where it's like, dude, all you had to do is set one thing up a week 
that makes $1 a day every day. All right, that's all you got to do. Like, maybe you could set something up that gets 20 visitors and you get five cents a visitor or whatever it is. There's a dollar a day. Over time, it's going to add up and it's going to grow. And what you're going to find out is that by majoring in the minors, you're going to get where you need to go a hell of a lot faster than if you try to go for the big stuff. And you need to look at the evolution, right? Things evolve. We look at it, we're like, today we're sitting here with computers and live streams and automatic coffee machines and cars that practically drive themselves. It wasn't always like this. 200 years ago, we got like covered wagons and stuff like that and huts and, you know, buildings and different stuff like that. And we have to look at it and we're like, okay, these things evolved and grew and they adjusted. They set something up. Like in the beginning, they had cars and they're like, hey, these cars are awesome, but they keep crashing into each other. We need to make a thing that straps you into your seat so you don't go flying when you crash. Oh, hey, check it out. What if we had a bag that came out and protected you when you got in a crash? And you look at it and it's like they evolved and they grew and they built and they grew. And what you need to do is start where you're at with what you have and build. And we're going to go into this. I got my software up here. We're going to map it out and show you how it works. So be ready to evolve, be ready to grow, and be ready to adjust. Part number two, the truth about habits. Now, I'm guessing if you're like a lot of people, myself included, sometimes I'm guilty as charged, what we have to do is we have to look at what our daily habits look like. Now, again, this comes into your programming. You were programmed to be a consumer. From the time you were a kid, you placed your value on the shoes you wore, the hat, the stuff you bought, the type of Walkman or iPod or whatever it is, you based everything based on consuming. You didn't look at the other side of the coin. On the other side of the coin, there were people doing things. And because of this, we were trained to be consumers and viewers. That's what you're trained to be. You look at the sales, you check your email, you look at the news, you look at this stuff and you're going through and your habits each day probably consist of like looking at Facebook, watching some videos, checking your email, maybe looking at some sale or whatever it is. Those things don't get you rich. Those things spend money. They don't make money. So we got to look at how to flip this around because here's the truth. <laughs> what you are doing each day to gain traction, what are you doing? Now, I'm going to ask you guys a question and I want everyone to answer and I want you to put your answers in the comments and I want you to be honest about this. What did you do yesterday to build your online income? What did you do? And I'm going to wait for the answers here. I want you guys to really look at this. What did you do yesterday to build your online income? An actual, tangible, tangible task. What did you do? Did you build an article? Did you write a blog post? Did you run an ad? Did you make a PDF? Did you create a video? What did you do? Because what you do is what you're going to get, right? What you put in is what you're going to get out if you do it right, right? I can make a PDF with no rhyme or reason. I can make a blog post with no rhyme or reason. I can make a video with no rhyme or reason and I'm not going to get anything. So what deliberate action did you take? Now, most people are saying nothing. Now, a lot of those same people are going to come to me and I can say, Marcus, why am I not making money online? Because making money online has nothing to do with consuming. It has to do with creating. Okay. E, uh, Stan said, a lot of people said nothing. Tom says, I worked on my site. Okay. What does that mean? Right? Like working on your site design doesn't do anything. Working on content does. Uh, Demarie says, tried to make videos for YouTube. Well, you don't try to make a video. You just make a video. Uh, created a video. Okay, so some people did a lot. So we got to look at this and we got to understand what's going on because if we can change this, we can look at it and say, I can make a video. I can send an email. I can write some content. I can compile a book or a list. I can talk to people online. I can make an audio or do a live stream. And all these daily actions must de be deliberate to funnel people to what makes you money. Okay? Now, for those that answered nothing yesterday, okay, we have to say, what did we do yesterday to set ourselves up for long-term profits? Because it's building blocks. It's all building blocks. What do you do? 
It's going to build and it's going to grow and you need to be deliberate and you need to make your success inevitable. Inevitable. Did you know I went to the doctor a couple months ago and he's like, your cholesterol is too high. You got to make some changes. Started walking every day, started eating an apple every night. I don't really like apples. They bug my teeth, but I eat it anyway because I know it's going to help my health. Inevitably, I'm going to be healthier because of that. Inevitably, if I go to the gym and do the workouts, I'm going to lose weight. It's like magic. Inevitably, if I start walking, guess what? I'm going to get somewhere. Now, if I walk deliberately, I'll get somewhere that I plan to go. If I walk aimlessly, I'll probably just walk around, right? So I have to look at this and I have to understand what's going on because success can be inevitable, just like everything else in life. You look at it and you're like, what do I do? What did I do? Where am I at? Right? And this guy comes up and he's like, why am I not losing weight? Why am I unhappy? Why do I not feel good? Well, because you're watching TV and eating pizza and popcorn and you got your socks on. I mean, you're a weird dude with socks on. All right. And we got to look at this because right now, where you stand, where you're at, your life is based on the habits that you choose to do. They add up. It's a bank account. It might not be monetary, but it is a bank account. So that brings us to part three, the future bank versus now money. And let's map this out. So here we have this here and we have to look at our habits. So every day you wake up, right? You wake up and you probably get your coffee or something like that. And you plan your day. Now, what if you took part of your day and you said, I'm going to do something to put money into my future bank account, right? Here's your future bank account over here. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to put as much money in that future bank account as possible. Now, the problem is, is everyone is out there and they're like, I just want to make money today. Marcus, I want to make a thousand dollars today. Now you can make a thousand dollars today. That's something people can do. Results not typical, implied or guaranteed. You got to work for it. But what if instead you said, I'm going to do something, right? So the first thing you do is you pick your market and you're like, okay, who am I going to provide content to? Who is my market? Okay. Then you go out there and you say, I am going to deliberately understand what's going on in the market. I'm going to probably look at news in my market, not just news for the sake of it, news in my market. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set out and I'm going to make tasks that I can do on a daily basis. These are going to become my habits. Okay. And I'll give you an example. About a uh, hundred days ago, I started to do a habit where I make videos three times a week. I'm like, okay, three times a week, I'm going to create videos. It's been difficult. It's been kind of hard, but it's paying off big time. We're like tripling the amount of people that are coming in. The income's going up. It's building. And I know that everything I do, including this training video, is going to go to my future bank account because here's the deal. I can sit here for one hour and I can make this video. Here's the video. All right. I talked to you guys for an hour. I know that, hey, maybe 10 people or 100 people or maybe 1,000 people a day will watch this video over time. And I know I can repurpose it and I know I can do something with it. So what's happening is this video is putting money into my future bank account. Same thing with, there's a better video. Same thing with if you do a blog post or a report or an article. What you do every day is going to make a difference in your income goal. But the problem is, is people are looking at something fast and they give up way too fast. They say, Marcus, I put up a video and I got nine people to watch it. This uh, just doesn't work. I quit. Or I put up a blog post and Google didn't rank it at the top and I didn't get rich overnight. Okay. Yeah. Neither did Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Neither did the other people you're looking at. They didn't get rich overnight. We look at the success and we look at what we want because again, you're a consumer. You were trained to be a consumer. You're trained to base things on I want. And as Buddha said, the, the uh, root of all suffering is desire. What I want and what I expect. So we're going to put that here. And we're going to say want and expect. Okay? A lot of people want and expect things overnight. Now, can you get rich overnight? Can you make money overnight? Some people do. Most people don't, like the vast majority don't. But can you build something up over time and start to position yourself to where you can actually 
get a result, right? How many of you guys, like that guy eight years ago, all right, he probably would have started getting results after about a year, 50 different things up, going through it, working once a week, not that hard. You just have to position it. Now, the way that it works is you have to change your daily habits. You have to look at your future bank versus your now bank. Your now bank could be broke, okay? Being broke is temporary. It's all it is. It's a temporary state. The only thing stopping you from being rich is putting a couple numbers in your account and feeling a little bit better about it. And so we look at it and we say, what are we going to do to put money in our future bank? Okay. And that brings us to part number four, which is how to start a content strategy. Now, when we go out there, we have to look at what we're doing. What you do makes you money. Now, a lot of people like to watch my videos and I appreciate that and I love it. But I want you to know that watching videos and learning and, and educating yourself gives you options. Buying courses gives you options. If you buy the Simple Sites course, it'll give you options of how to make money, okay? But it's not gonna make you anything because what you do makes you money. What you learn gives you options. What you do makes you money. I learned that in rehab. He said, hey, what you learn gives you options. What you do keeps you sober. Very important. And because of that, I'm almost seven years sober now. So we got to look at that and we got to understand exactly what's going on. So what is it I'm going to do? And you got to be strategic and you got to be specific in my sobriety. There's certain things I do that make me not go to the drink, right? Certain things, stuff I do. It's actual tangible stuff you can look at, okay? With making money, there's actual tangible things you can look at that add to your bottom line that make money. So let's say <coughs> you go out there and you're in the niche for like credit score, okay? And you're like, okay, credit score is pretty competitive, but Marcus has this cool Ahrefs tool and we found some keywords that are less than five competition. Pretty easy, all right? And we got like 685 credit score, 590 credit score, 810 credit score, 658 credit score. And by the way, I'm gonna show you how to write content for this market on my video Friday. So if you're new, subscribe, click the bell, watch the video Friday. I'll show you how to do this. Pretty cool, right? This is like the reverse money channel where we teach you all the stuff. And then if you want personal help, you can buy my course, right? So we teach you all this stuff. So we got 658 credit score. Now all these keywords, 685 credit score has 700 searches a month. Okay. 700 searches a month, 700 people a month go to Google and type in 685 credit score. Now, I know that the credit market is expensive. There's a lot of stuff in that market <coughs> and you can make a lot of money in it. So we look at this. I know that there's also lots of keywords. There's another 600, that's 1300. Now we're at 1800. Now we're at, at I don't know, a lot, you know, 2300. Now we're at more and you, you add these up and there's a lot of traffic here looking for specific credit scores. How many of us could go out and say, today I'm gonna write a content or an article or make a video about what to do if you have a 685 credit score. And I'm gonna get in front of those people because it's not that competitive. And we build and grow. And you say, well, will this make me a dollar a day? It'll probably make you more than that. That's a pretty damn good market. But we have to look at that and we have to understand what's going on and we have to understand how the market works. And now this <coughs> is gonna be future bank account. Your content might not pop right away. It might take a little bit. So you build another and you build another and you build another. And over time, you will build and grow and people are doing this all the time. So instead of looking at your habits and saying, hey, you know what, I'm out there, I'm checking my email, I'm watching videos. All right, you could still do that stuff, but plan to do something specific. Plan on something specific. Because if I go out and say, hey, now I'm gonna start making this content. And the cool thing about the internet is it gives you the roadmap. Like I want traffic for the credit market because credit traffic, like here's one that's $10 a click. So people are paying 10 bucks a click. So I know it's expensive. So I could go through and say, damn, man, now I can get 700 visitors a month, 600 and on and on we go. And what's going to happen is you're going to go into your market and you're going to find this stuff and you're going to look at what people are doing. And you say, okay, well, you know, that 680 credit score, I can make a video about that. Here's how to go from 680 to 800 or whatever. I can make a blog post about that. I can make a little report about that. I can make something about that. I can talk to this market. And what's gonna happen is over time, all of these things are going to be building up 
for a long-term goal. They could do this with paid traffic, free traffic, whatever you want. And we look at it, and this is why you're not making money. You're not making money because you're not doing the things that have a direct impact on what you're going to do. You're all over the place. Most people I talk to have not refined their niche. Which, by the way, if you want me to find your niche and give you a plan and help you do it, go to highticketniches.com. We have a service where I do that for you. We give you the domain. We give you everything. Simple. All right? So we go through. And you say, well, Marcus, what if I don't want to be in the credit market? Well, here's another one. What about meditation? All these people are looking for meditation for. Specific meditation stuff for different results. Guided meditation, anxiety meditation, whatever. Okay? Again, lots of money in the market. What you do is you start to strategically place yourself in front of the people you know you can get in front of. Not people like just whatever. People you know you can get in front of. It's very important. Another one. Let's say we're doing like reviews, right? Silver bullet hose review, uh, some kind of tax review, all kinds of reviews. These people are looking for reviews. Guess what? Because they want to buy products. And we look at it, we're like, boom, there we go. Simple. Uh, Robert, is the video on credit score free on Friday? Yes, it'll be here on the YouTube channel. Um, and we're also going to give you a free giveaway that's going to make this easier and help you get focused. Because the number one thing these people need and you guys need is focus. You need to focus on your market. And if you focus on your market, you can win hands down. Like it's, it's almost inevitable. Right now, I'm not going to say guaranteed because nothing in life is guaranteed. We don't know anything about anything. But this is something I've been doing for 21 years. It's the same principle I learned back in the year 2001 when I spent $100 on a book to learn this stuff. And it taught me some cool stuff. And, you know, I've kind of been evolving it ever since. So <laughs> we look at this. And we're like, OK, <laughs> we got reviews. I could go down the list and make it work. Take a look at this. These are screenshots when I first started this YouTube channel back in February 8th, 2021. I started with like, let's see, I think I got a screenshot here. Yeah, I started with 14 subscribers. Does anyone see what we're at now? I think we're at like 81,000 or something like that. All right, so I started with 14. Nobody wants to start with 14. All right, I had been doing internet marketing for 12 years. I'd made millions of dollars. I signed up for this site and I got 14 subscribers. It's like, what the hell? This sucks, right? But I knew that if I could go and strategically build and grow, strategically, then I could make it work. And I put little videos up. Put a video up about how to increase your opt-in rate. <coughs> put a video up about how affiliate marketing works. Put a video up about ClickBank. Put a video up about this. What is a squeeze page? And I went through and I built and grew. And I said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus. I'm going to go after the people I want. And you can look at this. So to date, we've had like 5 million views or something like that. And you look at the amount per click they're charging for the word affiliate marketing. It's like $5 a click. Do the math. That's a lot of money. Now, another thing we want to look at here, and even in the beginning, I got a bunch of free traffic using this method. Now, <coughs> a friend of mine, Evan Carmichael, you guys might have seen his channel. Really love what he does. He's a brilliant mind. This guy started out in February 2010, and he had 97 subscribers. He made more videos, built and grew. Now, by year four or year three, he was only at 1,500. I was like, whatever, you know, I'm getting views, but it's not that big. Most people would give up before they even got 97. Most people would. That's the fact of the matter. They're like, I put a video out and it didn't go viral and I'm not on NBC and I'm not rich. What the hell? This doesn't work. All right. They're not looking at a strategy. If you just got like something you're doing, you need to have a strategy. This guy had a strategy and because of that, he's making millions of dollars a year. He's got 3 million subscribers. He's huge in his industry. And guess what? Most of it's curated content he gets from other sources or compiled, right? And we look at it. This works with articles, site content, videos, recipes, ideas, keyword takeovers, blog niches, everything. The key is to gain momentum and don't look back no matter what. And strategically place things. People say, well, Marcus, how does this work? Well, when I started my addiction channel, there were videos that I knew I was going to make. There's content I knew I was going to make. I knew it was going to rank in the search engines. And I knew this would be one of our top videos. How did I know? Strategy. I looked at the keywords. I looked at what other, what other videos were doing. Here's another one I did. Another one I did. And you grow and you build. 
And when you look at it, stop looking at something today. People want it today. Now, if you want to make money today, I teach lots of ways to make money today. Subscribe, click the bell, watch my other videos. But if you want to build something long term, you need to have a focused strategy. You need to look at what the keywords are doing. You need to understand what people are into. You need to understand how to put something in front of them, how to build and grow. And what's going to happen is it's going to start to snowball. And you're going to be like, holy crap, now I got this, and now I got this, and now I'm able to get the higher keywords. Now I'm able to go for the bigger stuff. But it wouldn't have started if I was like, Marcus, I don't want to start with 14 subscribers. That's no good. People don't want to do it. Like a lot of this, it's about pride. I learned this. There's another one. We're, we're learning a lot of stuff I learned in rehab today. As Captain Ron used to say, learn that in rehab, right? And uh, in rehab, I learned, and I forgot what I learned. What did I learn? Something. It'll come back to me. But I learned a lot about how this works and how to build and how to grow. And I learned that you can build and you can start, but you need to start somewhere. And I learned the thing in rehab is that ego stops us. It's pride. And I learned that procrastination is about anger management. And anger is about you are not happy with the results you're getting. You're not happy. You're like, Marcus, I want to wake up and I want to get a million visitors overnight and I want to make $500,000 overnight. Good. Keep playing the lottery. The odds are like stacked against you, but that's the best way to get rich overnight, right? But it's pride. It's pride. People like you say, I'm afraid of failure. That's pride. I'm afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fail, right? This video, actually, to be honest with you, I think this live stream actually kind of flopped. I'm not that happy. I'm not on my game today, but hey, you know what? I'm going to put it out there. And it'll speak to some people and it builds and it grows. And we look at it, we're like, hey, what if I just got over myself and did what I needed to do? You see this with jobs. Well, Marcus, you know, I can make uh, $23 an hour over here. Why would I settle for this job? Because you got to feed your family. Maybe. I don't know. Marcus, you know, I am general manager of the local whatever. And you want me to write an article new, right? You you just want to be ushered in and, and be rich. It's not going to happen. But can you build over time? Are you willing to say, hey, Marcus had made millions of dollars on the internet and he said, I'm going to start a channel. And he started with 14 subscribers and 849 views. Actually, I started with zero, but by the time I took the first screenshot, I was at 14. And you got to look at it and say, am I willing? And it's all pride. It's all pride and it's all looking at it the wrong way. It's looking at it saying, oh, Marcus, I'm hung up on this. And it's a hang up. People get hung up and they say, Marcus, I bought this course eight years ago for 200 bucks. Seriously, you're still thinking about something you bought? I can't tell you what I bought eight years ago for 200 bucks. Can't even tell you what what other stuff I bought that was expensive eight years ago. Why? Because it's in the past. I can't change what's back there. But I can change what I do going forward. And I could say, I'm going to build something and I'm going to use it because even if you build the content and it doesn't go the way you want, you could reposition it, right? This training will be turned into a PDF and it'll be put on the blog and I'll use it for other stuff. And we have to look at it and say, I'm willing to do it. But people say, Mario, you know, I make 60,000 a year. And I get this all the time. People come to me, they say, Marcus, I'm not greedy. I only want to make a hundred grand a year. And I say, okay, so you want to, you want to come online, you want to buy a course and automatically make a hundred grand a year. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm not greedy. I know other people want to make 10 million a year. I say, when was the last time you made a hundred grand a year? Well, I haven't yet, but I'm not greedy. I only want a hundred grand. You don't understand. And they're not willing to do what it takes because they can't get over the money barrier of what they want. Because making money online is not about what you want. Nobody cares. I don't know if you've like been watching the news lately, but even the people in the Capitol buildings that are talking about stimuluses and stuff, they don't care. They don't care. They're sitting there letting people like starve. Sitting there letting people, you know, go broke. Nobody cares. So you got to care about yourself. You got to understand what you need to do to get where you want to go. And here's the thing. People laid off last year. They could have started something. They could have built something. I know lots of people that are in the industry and they built something over the last year. He said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to build it and I'm going to grow. 
even if I have to humble myself and say, you know what, I'm going to write an article. I know I'm new. I know no one's going to care. But they have this fear of failure, which is a myth. Like, what is failing? You write an article, no one reads it. That's not failure. That's just bad positioning. That's all it is. It doesn't brand you with an F. It doesn't brand you as a failure. No one cares. I remember um, seven years ago when I went to rehab, I thought my customers and my students were going to be like, wow, what a loser drunk. They actually cheered me on. I thought I had failed. I wasn't failure. I learned and I grew. And now I turned it into a, a talk show where we talk about um, sobriety and stuff. And you look at it and it's like, I need to go and I need to focus on what I need to do. And like Jack says, procrastination is my middle name. It used to be mine too. I used to beat the tar out of myself mentally because I was like, why am I not doing what I know I need to do? Why don't I just do it? Why don't I just do it? And I tried, I read self-help books. You guys could see the shelves are stacked with self-help books. And I tried to understand this stuff. And what I realized is it wasn't about willpower. It wasn't about pulling myself up with my bootstraps because that's impossible to do if you think about it, right? That's like stand up by grabbing your feet. It doesn't work that way, right? And so we got to look at it and say, what am I willing to do? I'm just going to do it. It's pride. You got to get over it and say, hey, I'm just going to write it. As I'm going to do, I'm going to write it today. I'm going to make a video. And people get all funny when they make video. Oh, I don't want to be on camera. You don't have to, but you can be. And I remember one time I went... Um, I was filming a website commercial for a local insurance company. And these people got all weird when they got in front of the camera. I'm like, why is it any different? Like, there's a camera right here. That's what I'm talking to you in. It's just a, it's a box. If I don't like it, I delete it. It's a big deal. All right? If I suck, I edit it. Last week's video or Monday's video took forever to edit because I kept screwing up. I couldn't even speak correctly. If I put the outtakes, it would have been five hours long. But I put the video up and it got views. And it made money and it added to my future bank account. You got to be willing to get past the ego of I am me and I deserve this. Guys, I've been doing this for 21 years. I don't deserve a damn thing. Nothing. I don't deserve to walk on red carpet and get favors and things like that. I, at least I don't believe I do. You got to look at it and say, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to build and grow instead of feeling and getting all emotional about stuff because money's not emotional. It's pictures of presidents that are in wallets. That's all it is. It's a measurement. It's not emotional. But people's number one issue is, is emotions around money. And you look at it and it's like, what if I just did the things I needed to do? What if I just wrote an article every day? A good article based on a keyword I know I can get. A good video based on something I can talk to or a market I could talk to, right? I'm going out there. Let's make a good review on the hose. Let's make a good video on this. Let's make good content. You know, it takes about the same amount of time to make good content as it does bad content. Is it? It's same thing, right? Maybe a little bit longer, 10% longer, I think is the estimate. And if I do a good job, that will live on forever. Think about that. If I do a good job, that's out there forever. It's going to get me traffic forever. It's going to do this stuff forever. And I can reposition it. I can turn it into a book. I can turn it into a course. I can do whatever I want with it. Right? Like those videos I put up years ago on this channel, this gets me video views every day, every day, every day, every day. What is it doing? It's taking and funneling people into the stuff for my future bank account. All right, now this channel doesn't make a lot, the uh, sobriety channel, because we're working on a long-term plan, and I'm cool with that. Would like to make faster money, but I don't want to do the shady tactics that, you know, most people in that industry are doing. So I want to look at that and say, how am I going to build it to my future bank account? And yesterday, uh, we got a couple, I think we got four sales yesterday, and it adds to our monthly amount. Now, because this is a monthly thing, and it recurs, and it grows... It adds, and it builds, and it grows, and people don't understand it, but what Einstein said when he said that the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest, they don't understand that, because here's the thing, if I could do something today that'll make a dollar, like that's it, set your sight low, say just take one dollar, that's all I want to do, is make one dollar a day, every day, from something I do today, so instead of going to work 
and saying, I'm going to make $300 today or a hundred or whatever you make. I'm going to say I'm spending eight hours and definitely go to work. This is something to do on your off day, right? Um, I'm going to say for the next eight hours, my goal is to make a video, an article, piece of content, pay-per-click ad, post on Medium. Yeah, that's right. Don't even need a website. Press release, whatever it is. And I want that to generate just $1 a day. One dollar a day. That's all I need to do. Anyone can do that, in my opinion. Results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. But anyone can do that, in my opinion. There are people out there doing that on YouTube, doing that on Google, doing that on Facebook. There's friends I have. They built a following. They just start talking to people on Facebook in their market, and they provide content and value, making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Most people make nothing. You will probably make nothing because this video, most people, you'll feel good. And then tomorrow you'll be in the same rut, which is why I put together for you a free giveaway that I want you to use every day. Go to it every day. Set it as your homepage. Go to it. We're going to build it out and grow it so it works even better for you. But what we have to do is understand not to give up and make this a must. The only thing stopping most people is a lack of belief that they can do something simple. They don't have to give up what they're doing. They just have to start something. And that's by crazy old Richard Bandler. Can you do something simple? Everyone on here can write an article or make a video. You're typing right now in the comments. I know you know how to type, right? And I know you had to like type to get here. So you look at that. But don't make it a maybe, make it a must. Here's how to go from zero to $30 a day pretty fast. Okay, again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed, but this is what I would do if I needed to go to $30 a day fast. First, I find my niche and I refine it. I say, this is who I'm gonna to talk to. Two, I find higher paying offers, something that pays well. Three, I set up a direct site promoting the offer. Four, I get some traffic using the methods I showed you where you do the articles, videos, everything like that. Five, <coughs> I watch what my visitors click on and get them to opt in and I be interactive. I'd be interactive. The biggest holdback so far is that people just won't do it and they don't have the belief and they have the fear of failure. You're only born with two fears, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noise. All the rest of it is learned. Your fear of failure comes from school because they probably put you in front of the class and you look like an idiot doing your uh, talk if you were like me. I was one of those guys who had a very entertaining talk but it had nothing to do with what I was supposed to talk about. <laughs> I'm probably still the same but hey, I do what I need to do and I get where I need to go. Very important. Now, we need to start judging things by results, okay? You're trained to judge things by success and failure. I did that, that didn't work, that's a fail. I did that, that worked, that was success. Doesn't matter. It's all results. I put this up, what did it do? Why did it do what it did? Reverse engineer, build, grow. Start judging things by results not success or failure. If you set up a blog post and it doesn't work, it doesn't mean you failed. If you do a video and it didn't work, it doesn't mean you failed. If you make a PDF and no one reads it, it doesn't mean you failed. It means you got data. And guess what? Look at the top companies in the world right now. They're data companies. Amazon gets data. They go, oh, let's try this pink button at the top of the site today. Oh, that didn't work. What would happen if it didn't work and, and Jeff Bezos was like, that's it. I'm going home. Pink button didn't work. I failed. No. He goes, pink doesn't work. Let's try green tomorrow. This doesn't work. Let's try this tomorrow. And you got to go through. Now, one of the cool things about internet marketing business is there's people that have paved the way before you. Like, I've been doing this for 21 years. I could tell you not to put the pink button. I could tell you the keywords that'll probably rank. I could tell you how to make content people will actually work. And I can help you do this. All right. And you can learn how to do that and everything like that. Now we got to look at this. We got to understand exactly what to do because you need to change your habits right now. If you're not getting the money you want, it's because the habits don't align with what you want to get. My habits align. I'm like three times a week. I'm doing videos three times a week. I'm doing webinar trainings. Uh, I'm doing this stuff. I'm building this content. I go on my talk sober, uh, live show. We build content. I build it and I grow. Those are the habits. That's why I'm successful, moderately successful, right? That's why I get what I need to do. I get over myself and I say, I'm going to make this content. Okay. And I do a good job. I want good stuff. Like I want to make this video good. 
I want you to subscribe. I want you to smash the like button. I want you to feel better after watching this video, and I want you to go do stuff. Go do stuff. Now, I've made it even easier for you. And part number five, before we take some questions, is a new website that I started for you. Yes, my subscribers. It's free. You don't even got to pay for it. All right? It's called theprofitscoop.com. Now, one of the things that I do every day is I wake up, I grab my gigantic coffee, and I look for what's going on in my market. Because I want to know if there's trends out there. Like last week, I did a video on the GameStop squeeze stock thing. Okay, why? Because I wanted some of those views. So one of the things I do is I have my coffee. I look at what other people are doing in the market. I look at where the traffic is. I look at the trends because I am a marketer and I need to know, I need to go where the people are. Okay, how many of you guys are like, yeah, that makes sense. So what I've done here is I've put together theprofitscoop.com, theprofitscoop.com. This is is a beautiful tool I made for you. We're actually having the logo redone because this wasn't that great. But this is your new homepage to look at every day. When you get your coffee, tea, or whatever you drink in the morning, I want you to fire up the profit scoop. And I want you to take a look at what's going on. All right? It's actually colorful and fun and easy. And we're going to have news going across the top to show you what's going on. Because guess what? If you could tackle news as it comes out and get that traffic, you can make a lot of money. There's a lot of people who do that on YouTube, on their blog, with press releases, and that's their habit. They're making money. Their habit is something that's putting money in their bottom line. So what we've done here over at theprofitscoop.com is I have lots of cool icons for you. You can go to Profit News. This has all the news you can look up, right? So you can go to different places where I get my news. Okay, now notice this isn't politics or whatever. This is news about what's going on that you can tackle. Now, politics is fine if that's the market you're in. Now, one of the other things I've done is I actually have a specific news search. So if you're in real estate, you just type in real estate, and this will actually do the work for you. It'll check Google News. <coughs> It'll go through and tell you the press releases, the medium articles that are written. Boom, it'll show you. It's going to go through and it's going to show you the Associated Press press releases that are out there, right? And you can sort of, it's really cool, right? You can go and look at what happened on PR Web. You can look at my favorite news sites. And we're going to be adding feeds and cool stuff to this all the time. And that's just icon number one. We also have market trends. Check this out. You go here. This is going to give you the trends on every major site. You're like, hey, I want to see what's going on on Google. Boom, there it is. I want to see what's going on on Twitter. Boom. Here's your trends. I want to see what's going on on Amazon. Hey, here's the top sellers. Cool. Uh, I want to see what's going on in hashtag world. Boom. There's some hashtags. On and on we go. Instagram, Reddit, Quora. It's going to do it all, right? You start here. Like, this is the goal. You say, I want good habits. Start here every day, all right? Now, I want you to make this part of your habit. Power search tool. You could go here. You could start searching for all kinds of things you need. Really awesome stuff. All right, next up, top searches. You want to see what people are searching in real time? Boom. Check it out. There they are. They're searching. You can click them. You can see what's going on. So Amazon stock. That would be a good video today. Uh, Jeff Bezos, Mark Cuban. Those would be good videos. Um, and you can see exactly what's going on. Boom. Pretty cool, right? So if you make this part of your daily habit, it'll work really well. We also got SEO news. If you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, you can click on the learning center and we'll show you stuff. Right, all kinds of cool stuff here. How to create content, CPA offers, start your website, everything. And you go through, and this is free. All right, I want to give you this so that you can use it and that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this guy here that's been doing this 21 years can help you. And you got to go through and say, hey, I'm willing to do this. And then later you can buy stuff if you want, right? Uh, rapid Traffic Boost. This is going to have places where you can actually go in every day and submit your stuff for rapid traffic, right? We also have create something where you can go in and this is going to have a list of daily tasks that you can do. And you check it and you say, did I do my task today? And guess what? You do it, you build, you grow, you make it work. And then we also have hot offers and everything like that. Now, we're going to be building and developing this site over the coming years, days, months, all that. I want you to start using this. You can make this your homepage. I think you could just do like set as homepage or something like that. Um, and you could start coming here every day. And what I want you to do is when you get your coffee, 
or whatever it is in the morning, I want you to go here. Because guess what? This is what I do every day. I just bought some colorful icons that cost a little too much and a logo that cost way too much and set it up for you so that you could go through and you could say, hey, now I have a starting point. Now I could build this and I can grow and I can learn and I could see what people are doing because this is where it's all at. This is where it's all at. You go through and you say, I'm going to do it. And when you look at things like the profit uh, power search tool, right, this will go through and it'll research your markets in, in a really cool way. Um, you go through to create something. It's going to show you how to create content. You go through the offers, the top searches. Guys, theprofitscoop.com is where you want to go to get that. And the idea here is all wrapped up in the fact that you can do little things each day that's going to add to your bank account. Because like that guy, Michael, right? Imagine eight years ago if he just started doing something, right? Like seriously, lift one weight one time over eight years. It'll have an impact. Make write one word a day, right? You need to write more than one. But if you understand this, the habits that separate the rich from the poor are in what they're doing every day and what it's going towards. Am I finding new customers? Am I building new content? Am I getting something in front of people that's going to help them every day? Am I doing that? Because again, all the training in the world, my wonderful The Profit Scoop site, all of this stuff is going to do nothing if you don't do something with it. I talked to a gym owner uh, years ago. There's a big gym on the corner of where I used to live. And uh, I said, how many people have um, memberships here? He said, anywhere between 4,500 and 5,000. And I said, how many actually come in every week or, or at least once a week? And he's like, usually 200. And I'm like, so 4,500 people are paying for a gym and only 200 come in. Because literally, like if, if the gym had as many people as pay come in the gym, it'd be busting at the seams, right? Because people don't do what they need to do. Right. And again, it's about ego. I don't want to go there and look funny. I don't want to look like I'm lifting the one pounder. That's me. Right. <laughs> like, hey, no one don't one see me. Maybe I'll paint, paint a 100 on this. So people think I'm lift, lifting 100 pounds. Um, and we go out there and we're like, hey, these people aren't doing it. Did you know that right now, every week as part of my courses? So if you get Simple Sites, Big Profits at SimpleSitesBonus.com or a high ticket niche at highticketniches.com. Did you know that you're allowed to come on a call every Tuesday and ask whatever you want about your website, your marketing, everything? Every week. Now I got thousands of customers. How many do you think show up every week? About 40. 40 people. The rest just aren't willing to do it. But guess what? They never miss their favorite TV show. priorities. What are you willing to do? When I first started, I didn't even have a TV. I used to be a street preacher and we didn't have a TV. I bought one uh, when my first daughter was born so my wife could watch TV so I could get work done. I'm like, here you go, watch this. I'm going to go work over here. And I worked and I built and I grew. And I said, I'm going to do what I need to do. Do what I need to do. Forget all the other stuff. Are you willing to do what it takes? You got to ask yourself that question. You got to go out there and say, Am I willing to do? And you can go to profitscoop, theprofitscoop.com and you can get daily updates. And we're going to have all kinds of cool stuff. How do you get on the Tuesday call? Once you sign up, there's a link we send all our members and you can go on there every week and you can ask questions and ask for help. Right? That guy, eight years ago, he, he came up and he's like, Hey, I bought your course eight years ago. I need help. But, you know, I, I couldn't make it work. I'd be like, Come on the Tuesday call. Well, I bought it eight years ago. That's fine. Come on the Tuesday call. Get the help you need. Go through. Make it work. Make it work. Deliberate, focused action. Listen to what your market wants. Put it in front of them. Send them to stuff that makes you money. And that is the habit that'll get you money. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, click the bell. Check out theprofitscoop.com, and we'll see you next time.